Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the algorithmic decomposition as well as the object oriented decomposition. Certainly, there will always be genius among us, people of extraordinary skill who can do work of a handful of mere mortal developers, the software engineering equivalents of Frank Leod Wright or Leonardo da Vinci. These are the people whom we seek to deploy as our system architects, the one who devise innovative ideas, mechanisms and frameworks that others can use as the architectural foundations of other applications or systems. However, the world is only sparsely populated with these geniuses. There is no reason to believe that the software engineering community has an inordinately large portion of them. Although there is a touch of genius in all of us, in the realm of the industrial strength, the software we cannot always rely on divine inspiration to carry us through. Therefore, we must consider a more disciplined way to master the complexity. Here comes the question of role of decomposition. The technique of mastering complexity has been known as since ancient times. The simple technique is divide and rule. When designing a complex software system, it is essential to decompose it into smaller and smaller parts, each of which we may then refine independently. In this manner, we satisfy the very real constraints that exist on channel capacity of human cognition. To understand any given level of a system, we need only comprehend a few parts rather than all the parts at once. Indeed, as Parnas observes, intelligent decomposition directly addresses the inherent complexity of software by forcing a division of a system's state space. When it comes to the algorithmic decomposition, most of us have been formally trained in the dogma of top-down structured design and so we approach decomposition as a simple matter of algorithmic decomposition wherein each module in the system denotes a major step in some overall process. In this figure, it is an example of one of the products of a structural design, a structure chart that shows the relationship among various functional elements of the solution. This particular structure chart illustrates part of the design of a program that updates the content of a master file. It was automatically generated from data flow diagram by an expert system tool that embodies the rules of structure design. When it comes to the object oriented decomposition, in algorithmic decomposition, we have decomposed the system according to the key abstraction in the problem domain. Rather than decomposing the problem into steps such as get formatted update and add checksum, we have identified objects such as master file and checksum which derive directly from the vocabulary of the problem domain. Although both these designs solve the same problem, they do so in quite different ways. In the second decomposition, we view the world as a set of autonomous agents that collaborate to perform some higher level behavior. Get formatted update thus does not exist as an independent algorithm rather than it is an operation associated with the file of update object. Calling this operation create another object that is update to the card. In this manner, each object in our solution embodies its own unique behavior and each one models some object in the real world. From this perspective, an object is simply a tangible entity that exhibits some well-defined behavior. Objects do things and we ask them to perform what they do by sending them messages. Because our decomposition is based on objects and not algorithm, we call this as object-oriented decomposition. When we are comparing this algorithmic as well as object-oriented decomposition, there is a question which is the right way to decompose a complex system by algorithm or by object. Actually, this is a tricky question because the right answer is that both views are important. The algorithmic view highlights the ordering of events 
and the object oriented view emphasize the agents that either cause action or are the subject on which these operations act. However, the fact remains that we cannot construct a complex system in both ways simultaneously. We must start decomposing a system either by algorithms or by objects and then use the resulting structure as the framework of expressing the other perspectives. Our experience leads us to apply the object-oriented view first because this approach is better at helping us organize the inherent complexity of the software system just as it helped us to describe the organized complexity of a complex system as diverse as computers, plants, galaxies, planets and large social institutions. Object-oriented decomposition has a number of highly significant advantages over the algorithmic decomposition. Object-oriented decomposition yields small systems through the reuse of common mechanisms, thus providing an important economy of expression. Object-oriented systems are also more resilient to changes and thus better able to evolve over time because their design is based on stable intermediate forms. Indeed, object-oriented decomposition greatly reduces the skills of building complex software systems because they are designed to evolve incrementally from smaller systems in which we already have confidence. Furthermore, object-oriented decomposition directly addresses the inherent complexity of software by helping us making intelligent decisions regarding the separation of concerns in a large scale or large state space. So my dear students, in this lecture we had discussed the algorithmic decomposition and the object-oriented decomposition aspects. So my dear students, hope you had understood this topic. So dear students, kindly go through this assignment question. Our question is, Compare the algorithmic decomposition and the object-oriented decomposition. So my dear students, in the next set of lectures, we are going to discuss about this object-oriented designs in detail. And after that, we are going to design the UML diagrams. So my dear students, see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.